and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Gangplank. Uh, we're going to be playing this Vandal City list with Twisted Fate, Gangplank, kind of a burn style list that a lot of people play, but I'm actually switching it up some. I'm making a little bit more mid-rangey. I'm kind of playing some different cards than what other people are in this list. We're putting Vandal City Mayor, Loping Telescope, Vandal Commando, these kind of cards that are just awesome, and putting it in this list as well. I know lots of people play like Stone Stackers in here uh, to get extra damage and uh, Crackshot Corsair. There we go. So a lot of people play Crackshot Corsair, um, that Stone Stackers, those kind of cards that you know really focus on dealing one damage to the enemy Nexus and, and enabling uh, you know leveling up Gangplank. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I don't. I think that these cards are okay, especially Stone Stackers is okay. It's perfectly fine. Um, but I think that we can do better. And I think that just Loping Telescope's a much better card. And so I just want to play the better cards, basically. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing here, is just kind of playing those kind of things. I, I'm also a big fan of Poison Dart. I know people don't people don't usually play Poison Dart in this deck. They, they'll play Parlay or Group Shot. But I actually like Poison Dart more than either of the other two, especially when combined with the, the Lecturing Yordles to get even more Poison Darts. So we're going to be doing that. Um, another thing is the, the lists all have like a bunch of Tenor of Terrors, again, for the impact, but I don't like playing 12 four mana cards. I don't want to play Twisted Fate and Lecturing Yordle and Tenor of Terror. That's just too messy for me. And so like the Tenor of Terrors turn into like Bandle City Mayors. And of course, you know, that, since we're playing Bandle City Mayor and Loping Telescope, we can also find our own at Tenor of Terrors uh, later with that. So. so I'm doing stuff a little bit different. I'm also not playing so many double ups. I think that's a card that can definitely get stuck in hand. And so I'm just trying to go for just a, it's a little bit more mid-rangey, and it, my deck's not going to level up Gangplank as well, but I think it's going to be really strong and win a lot of games. So that's that's going to be the goal. And so since I'm going a little bit more mid-rangey, we got one Dreadway at the top end. I'm throwing this in there uh, to, you know, be all cool and stuff. All right, so let's get to it. Let's go and play some Twisted Gangplank. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Okay, Misfortune Poppy. So this looks like a like a scout deck. We played Lucian Misfortune Scouts yesterday. I like this hand. It's a good hand. We got a lot of little uh, things that can do damage. Lecturing Yordle helps out with this poison dart. pretty messy. I guess I should have just opened attack with the chemist. The big problem here is if they play Misfortune next round. That's like the real big problem. Who's that you got there? Because Misfortune makes these things not be able to block at all with the one health. without me. Alright, that's not Misfortune, that's a good sign. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna save the spell mana. Alright, so I wanted to, wanted to kind of test that, so that's, like, I'll definitely trade that card for, uh, like, I, I'll take that trade all the time, basically. I'll trade that Poison Dart for a Sharp Sight all the time. Man, that Ruination could definitely get them. Good one drop to hit. I don't think they're gonna be slaying stuff with the spell though, so I guess maybe not as good. Can't say I know. I'm up for 
oranges and purple berries. Just play this first so we can in, in buff up the health also with the Yordle Ranger. I know I could just be sitting back and, you know, setting up Ruination, but I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient on this Ruination. All right, team. Adventure time. That, that thing was going to die to poison dart anyway. Alright, by saving the spell mana, I can ruination this round if we need to. The quiet of the woods, there's nothing like it. Their pride will cost them. This is our way. Which I don't think we'll need to ruination yet. Okay, they're making sure just like one pokey stick doesn't kill that thing. We're in a pretty good spot. Even with all these spells costing one more mana, the Stony Suppressor adding on so much mana. Lecturing Yordle, get a Poison Dart. Poison Dart Sentinel is the guaranteed way of killing that thing. Mega Rain is the not guaranteed way. Um, but if I do the, the Yordle Poison Dart, I will not be able to Ruination next round. If I go Mega Rain, I would be able to Ruination. I can't really imagine that we lose the game from here. Can't really imagine we lose the game from here. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Follow my lead. And that should finish it up. This is why you just play Loping Telescope. <laughs> it's that card is insane. You're just like, oh, do you need a ruination against the Demacia deck? Sure, go. I'll give you that. Okay, so we drew neither champion and had a very convincing win against the aggro decks, still staying at 20. 
and we had no champions. All right, we are one and zero. Oh. Okay, so we got a deep deck with Twisted Fate. Which kind of makes sense because of how good Twisted Fate is. Like, just might as well play that card. If you're not going to play all three Maokais, right? A lot of people with this deck, like, they don't play all three Maokai. If you already know you're not going to play all three Maokai, might as well throw a Twisted Fate in there. Get some good red card going on. All right, we're going to have our mayor into Owl Cat. Into Poros Lead. I should make a speech. Yes. Where's my speech? Pops in your maybe I should take the 4 2. This morning. Yeah, maybe I should take the 4 2 quick attack. To fast pass. I think that's a pass setting up. Could be a challenger, but could be oh ranger or tenor tear. Could be a, a challenger, or it also could be uh, twisted fate red card. I could pass here also. They let's see. I guess they waste three mana. We pass. Sure. Never lost a fair game, or played one. Yeah, we came diamond earlier in the week. Who says I don't share? Serving lead. <laughs> I guess this this poro should have been first, but okay, it doesn't matter. Buried in ice. Man, we just get another one-sided, <laughs> like one-sided ruination. Now we had ruination last round. Now we have one-sided ruination. Yeah, that red card didn't do a ton, but you know they they could be also setting up like more like withering mist type stuff to go along with it. Could have enabled another Twisted Fate red card right there. You usually want to wait on the puff caps on this kind of deck before they toss all the stuff. Alright, they still have the three puff caps, that's good. Blockers. No devour depths is good. They didn't have devour depths last round either. Ah, they did have withering whale though. Good. Still have all three puff caps. From all the regions, we are one. All right, four to five for gameplay. Okay, 
Okay, now they only have two puff caps. They did just toss a puff cap right there. Neither the flames nor the depths could claim me, Captain. Everyone pay! Bilgewater is mine and mine! Alright, let's level up the plant. Withering whales. Killing me. Man, these withering whales are killing me. Killing me softly with withering whale. Um, I don't think we're going to use the judgment. It's between the Crescent Strike and this thing with Impact 4. One of those two. Assuming I go red card right here, get rid of this blocker, which I, I could wait on that also. No, I want to do that because I want to count buried in ice. So if we're going that, then we have that. Okay, red turn. Right. Which, maybe that doesn't make any sense to do. Me, 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 me. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. All right, should have grabbed the seven mana card. Seven mana card. Deal me in. That's not good. I think they got this with with this car with this keel breaker. Had too many too many withering whales. Too many withering whales. Looks like they got it. Good, good game, opponent. That was a good game. They are nothing like me. I felt pretty good about this game. Because of these two treasures, but specifically because of the Keel Breaker, I have to just do this right now. I'd rather, you know, play something else first, but because of the Keel Breaker, I have to do that. Alright, so we have to top deck game play. It's the only way to win this. Wait, we can't, because they're all non-champion cards left in our deck, aren't they? So, I don't think there is a non-champion card that wins us this game. No, there's not. Alright. Good game, opponent. Sig's Poppy. Do I keep this card? I'm, not, I'm definitely keeping Butcher, Commando, Telescope. I guess we send that back. I'm glad that was their one drop and not the 2-1 that makes the landmark. Because now we get 2 damage in, it helps out our Gangplank, and we get to block and trade. So we just kind of... Get it all. We also found a deck hand that now, if we find a twisted fate, we have powder keg, red card. Serving lead. Your esteemed mail has arrived. Has the battle started? It started a while ago, and you're on the wrong side again. Uh. This is the card that I can just play like right now for no mana if we want to be real aggressive. I guess that's the way to go. These other cards, you know, are 
better. All right, chat's saying to take a loop. Pops in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. All right, team, adventure time. I wanted to go Dreadway Deckhand in to make a rain, but if I do that, if I play Dreadway Deckhand, then the Poppy gets to challenge the uh, Powder Keg. Alright, so they had another poppy in hand. You won't get past me. Hammer. Okay, ready. Different options here. Probably gonna double up the poppy. Your esteemed mail has arrived. Has the battle started? It started a while ago. No, well, maybe we do this. Maybe we just go make a rain. So we can try to kill multiple things. Hopefully, hitting poppy. Still hopefully hidden Poppy. Okay, that was the absolute worst possible make it rain. Absolute worst possible. We killed nothing. Not have gone any worse. Some encouraging words. I'm attacking. Go away. Clear off. Shall we bully off? <laughs> Let's make cookies. That works. Got past me. Cool. So they have a better board than me. We each have four cards. I do have two champions in hand. We've gotten rid of two of their champions. Um, twisted fate. It. Never mind about the two but champions. Planning on being able to use that for the the parlay also right here. This mama is a beast, mama. Because I was gonna play, you know, one play one game plank, use the other for parlay. Especially with the powder keg, could have taken out the four two, dealt two damage to them, leveled up game plank. Yeah, would have been able to do all that. Remember the objective. Right, so Game Plank's still leveled up. Pops in your hat. I put it in your hat this That's morning. the third Poppy. We already made them discard one. They already played one. It's the third Poppy. Hammer. 
Dr. Warrior, check it in. You got legs. Use them. Absolutely. Top hole. Five elusive. Little booms are just as good as big ones. I should have blocked the three three. I should have blocked that. I could have saved three. I could have got rid of the bandle commander to save three life. Now I regret not doing that. But they have another fervor. We lose if they don't. We win. Probably. On it and on him. Okay, those don't help at all. Explosives. Yeah, you could say that we could have t taken aloof and then been able to play aloof to try to get rid of their decimate, but we you never know. Like the decimate could have been like the top card, right? Like we make them discard something else and have them draw into the decimate, so that could have also been the aloof could also could also cost us the game. You know, we just don't know. They could have two decimates in hand. This will do. We just want to open attack there. Alright, we got Ziggs Poppy. Haven't played that deck in a long time. Played against that deck in a long time. Let's get rid of the five mana cards. Hey, a Twisted Fate. So we're going to deck hand round three after they attack. No, I have the attack token round three. Never mind. That makes life a little worse. Hmm, that's going to be more difficult to set up then. Okay. Little booms are just as good as big ones. You won't get past me. All right, so let's start off just like last time. We get the attacker round one. Draw, make it rain. Congrats. Yeah, I think that we can maybe use a red card here. That would be ideal. Life beneath the way. Go tenor of terror. <clears throat> Try to keep setting up this powder keg. Red corn. There's plenty of killing left. Strike at their foundations. I am definitely being super greedy. Do 
never lost a fair game or played one. Simple being super greedy there. If I would have played it correctly though with all the attacking, it would have been a lot better if they didn't attack with as much. Um, but we have a good open, you know, we got a good board here now. Four units in play, four cards in hand. Apprehend. What are we doing? We're just playing Apprehend? Is that created by something that I don't know about? Apprehend? War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. I see that right? Hello, cruel world. Say your farewells. Should make a speech. Yeah. Where's my speech? It's in your hand. It wouldn't you know it, I picked the wrong mushroom. I'm playing this stuff out before my scout attack, you know, so I can hit so they can all get the plus one to the health. Also. It's called Oof Travelers now. Oof. Routes closed. <laughs> yeah, Mordecai goes, Yay, Dreadway. Oof. <laughs> um. Alright, we'll take out another blocker. So they can stay alive at one. No, never mind. Impact kills them. Never mind. Does it say they can block five and three? Take eight, but impact also. So it looks like we're going to be three and one. It was in the cards. GGs. All right, so we're we're facing the. Traditional Twist of Fate gangplank. You'd have to think they're playing the regular version. We'll see how this matches up. I've never tried this chemical before. Why not? Let's get it, crew. Came a long way from bullet. Yep, they're playing the normal version of Crackshot Corsair. And that card. That card being tough is good against me, that's for sure. Be nothing left when I'm done. I guess loping telescope just gets more loping telescopes. That's pretty crazy. Alright, let's go... So gold card, I stun that thing and do 3 damage to it. Red card, I do 2 damage to both, so they have a 3-3 three, three and a 2-1. Tough. I think we're going gold card and not letting them get more 
free poison darts. My poison darts have looked pretty bad. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna give him some more puff caps. Getting rid of this thing. I mean, Monastery of Hiran is cute with this sloping telescope, but that probably won't work out right. But the other thing is, like, the Charger is just gonna die to, like, all their. Like, the Charger isn't very valuable here. This card is not really that valuable either. I kind of think maybe I'll just take this Monastery. And... Yeah, I don't know, do Monastery plus Loping Telescope plus Twisted Fate stuff, I guess. Aw, oh, man. We drew a puff count. We are the worst at Mega Rain. Who says I don't? We have had the absolute worst possible Mega Rain multiple times now. Mama's home. Hey. You poor thing. I don't know. Yeah, we we've lost this. So the Stone Stackers were awesome here. I. Drew too many of the one damage things and not enough units in this game. And the stone stackers were really good in this mirror match against the one the one damage. That thing I know, I'm up my britches and purple berries. That could be a decent draw. <clears throat> the new arcane trailer. I, I saw like the first arcane trailer, I haven't seen any since then. I saw like the one that was like a 10 second, 15 second little trailer. I don't know if, the, if there was a brand new one that just came out, I haven't seen that. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that Arcane TV show. I've never met anyone like you. Serving lead? My life or theirs? I don't want to kill the Twisted Fate and allow them to play a new Twisted Fate. Okay, a new two and a half minute trailer was released today. Awesome. Funny the hand life deals you. No, I not seen that. She's a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. They attack, we lose. All or nothing. Need them to not attack. No, they attack. I need them to not attack. Then full cards. All right, good game. 
Okay, so we did lose the mirror match, but that doesn't necessarily mean that our deck is worse than the mirror, basically. Um, the, the Stone Sackers did look really good, um, but it, Bandle Commando also usually looks pretty good too, and you know, being able to get Owlcats would have been nice, but you know, we didn't have the Commando till later. But you know, I just kind of had too, like, too many of these Poison Darts, and the Poison Darts didn't look as good as I was hoping. We didn't really have our opponents draw the Pup Caps very well. Um, you know, but they, they had a good hand, strong hand with those, uh, the Stone Stackers, and then the early Lecturing Yordle, and then they were able to set up Deck Hand plus Twisted Fate. So, you know, good game. And then they also had Gangplank. So they had, you know, they had all the, the powerful stuff. Us, not so much. We had a lot of Poison Darts. <laughs> uh, poison Darts and then Make It Rain that wasn't any good. We had that kind of stuff. And then our Loping Telescope actually kind of just completely bricked. Which is difficult for a loping telescope to do, but it did at that point, but oh well. Alright, so uh, anyway, I still like the deck quite a bit. I think we really showed, even though you know it's it's a different version here, I think we really showed the power of Bandle City Mayor, Loping Telescope, Bandle Commando in a lot of those other games besides game number five. Uh, you know, we were beating the Ziggs Poppy decks. We went 2-0 against Ziggs Poppy, and really on the the strength of those cards. Um, lecturing Yordle's always great. That card looked very good as well. So I could definitely see I could definitely see playing something else besides the poison darts. Like I said, they weren't as good as I was hoping for, um, and that could be just parlay. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe parlay would have been better, or uh, potentially maybe group shot. I don't know. That's that's a card to look for. But besides that, I liked the rest of the deck. I think it, I think it uh, performed quite well. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this different version of Twisted Gangplank. And uh, if you've been playing the other version, feel free to try this one out too. Let me know which one you like better. Um, you know, anything like that. I'd love to, to uh, see those comments. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.